Hi there, Golf Course Superintendent Stu Sheridan here. This season, Course and Grounds will be delivering a video series shedding some light on our daily maintenance practices and giving updates on our greenside bunker renovation happening this season. We hope you enjoy the videos and you find them interesting and informative. Thank you. Today's video will be about ball marks. We've seen a large accumulation of ball marks on the greens over the past few months through the winter and I just want to highlight the importance of correctly repairing these ball marks, not only impacting turf health but also the performance of the greens. So I have 345 golf balls in the basket behind me. I'm going to place them on either fresh ball marks or scars left behind from unrepaired ball marks or incorrectly repaired ball marks. Thank you for watching. For the purpose of this video, we began at the front of number 14 green, and as you can see, we quickly ran out of our 345 golf balls, highlighting the number of ball marks that we do see over the winter months. As you approach the green, we encourage everyone to please look for their ball mark and repair it, and also repair one to two other ball marks as well. This will greatly reduce the number of ball marks that we see on the surface of the greens. This amount of ball marks cause two main issues. First being turf health. This time of year with the low light levels and low temperatures, these scars will not recover for a number of months. So this is an example of an old ball mark scar from an unrepaired or incorrectly repaired ball mark. As you can see, there's a patch of soil in the middle of the ball mark and it's going to take quite a while for the turf to grow back in and fill in this area, especially over the winter months. The second main issue that this many depressions on the surface of the green cause is of course the impact on the roll of the golf ball. As seen here. Each of the ball marks marked on the green in this video impact ball roll, some as extreme as this. So now we're going to look at repairing a ball mark with a traditional ball mark tool. Any ball mark tool can be used, even a golf tee would be sufficient. The golf ball has come in from the tee or fairway and left a depression in the surface of the green and we're going to focus on pressing the turf back into this depression. We don't want to lever the turf upwards and break roots or bring soil to the surface. We just want to press the turf back into the depression and we'll do this from three to six times. Once finished, we can use our putter or our foot to smooth off and tamp down this area. As mentioned, we can use a golf tee to do the same process here. We'll just gently press the turf back into the depression as many times as we feel we need to, to make this area flat. And then again, we can tap down this area with our foot or our putter. Thank you for watching this video.